Well, hello. I'd like to welcome you to another First Impressions. I, have, I think I've mentioned before, I am in no partnerships with any brand retailers or individual sellers. Uh, but occasionally viewers like to send me a pen or two to try. I have, once I was loaned a very nice pen. Um, and uh, more recently, Pierre Gustafs and I did a collaboration with some very nice vintage pens. But generally what I'm sent are the lower cost pens. But what people send me when they send me a lower cost pen are ones that they like themselves very much. And this is one of those pens. Now I have not opened it up. Uh, this person mainly sent me some Daiso pens which expect in the coming weeks, on, oh that's cartridges, expect in the coming weeks. And one more. Um, but this is not a Daiso. I could tell immediately when I when I looked at it. And then when I read the letter that this person included, I said, oh, that's a Jin Hao. Jin Hao 51A, apparently. Uh, how do I know that? I'm going by that. I'm going by that to get the nib size. I don't think that's a model number. Now, I, want, I always like to do a glamour shot, so I've got to take it out. And I'll be honest, I've never taken it out before. Jin Hao. Yep, 51A. How about that? And this is a lovely finish. Uh, you, you can see this finish on the Pen BBS pens. I haven't seen this clip before. I, I honestly, I don't know if I've tried this particular model before. So let's pose it for a quick glamour shot for my title screen. Maybe like that. Uh, just why remark again on what an absolutely gorgeous finish that is. Um, that reminds me of, pull one up here, well the only one I own, some of the pen BBS finishes. I'm trying to think of a US pen maker at this price level especially that makes a finish like that. And not coming to me. So apparently a screw cap, or apparently not a screw cap, okay, <laughs> that didn't go so well. Oh, slip cap. I didn't buy this pen, so I don't know. A uh, semi-hooded nib that really reminds me of. Believe it or not, none of this was planned. It just happens all this was down here. Well, maybe a little of the Aurora 88. But you know, now that I did that comparison, it's really reminding me even more of the Aurora Duo Cart. Yes, both of those just happen to be down here, and I'm not joking. Uh, I don't know if it's meant to be reminiscent of either one or if it's its own beast, but there we be. All right, so nothing crazy on the finial. No finial, really. Uh, finish. Oh, no finish written on it. And you saw me unscrew it, so we already know it has a cartridge built in. Something written, oh, Jin Hao. It's one of their Lamy esque cartridges. And I think I've shared before my feelings on these pens that I don't consider these knockoffs. I consider them their own pen inspired by. And they might be saying, oh, that is so a Lamy converter. Uh, you know, the flat edges kind of make sense for gripping it. And how many standard international cartridges are truly unique? which I have the feeling this one is. So this person sent me, uh, darned if I remember what the sample is. No letter's not down here. So we'll just have to take a gamble. It's blue, whatever it is. I'll find out and uh, I will overlay a comment when I edit this video together so you know what the name of it is, but for now, I'm always scared of sample bottles, I'll knock them over. One fill, not bad. Let's see if I can do a little better with two fills. Heard some bubbling, so maybe. Oh yeah, that's pretty decent. whatever ink it is. Uh, 
I'll wipe it off here off screen and a little bit of privacy. And let's see how this writes. Alright, so extra fine nib, Jin Hao 51A. Uh, the ink in it is uh, mystery blue. Which I will add in as a caption later when I edit this together finally. As far as flex, no. And I don't believe in pushing a pen. A little line variation you can coax out of it, not gobs and gobs, but there's a bit. Wetness and flow. Not bad. It's an extra fine pen, of course. See the smear test. Not super wet, but it's an extra fine, so what do you expect? And then the reverse rating test. little scratchier but not bad I'd call that more what my brain calls an extra fine and then finally I will do what I call the Pierre Gustafson test uh, just kind of gives you an idea how the pen lays down ink not trying to make any design just some quick movement and a lot of continuous flow and it is keeping up like a champ I'm going to finish this video without the other camera. You're going to have to use my imagination for when I test it in my, my uh, pocket because the battery just died on the camera that's on me, the camera A. <laughs> so, we'll just do it this way. Sorry. I thought I had enough juice to get through one more video tonight. So, uh, a little bit of toyancy there in the finish. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, the clip... I don't know, you could say they're going like the old style uh, Parkers, or maybe they're going like Pilot, or you could say, hey, Jin Hao is doing its own thing. Uh, in any case, it's, it's a nice pen. It's a little bit of a slim pen, which may not be for some people, but I like how it writes. I like how it looks a lot, and even though you can't see it, I am slipping it in my shirt pocket right now. Took a little force, but that ball pushed it over the lip of my pocket, did it again. Kind of catches on the way out though. There must be a little sharp thing under there. I don't notice it going on, but I notice it coming off. It must grab somewhere there. Oh yeah, I see a little bit of a seam. That's what's grabbing. So all in all, very impressive pen. I want to thank this viewer for the donation of this pen. And uh, I'm really thrilled to see Jin Hao getting into pens like this. It just has that very quality feel, which I, I like to see. I don't know what it sets you back. Um, don't know anything about cost, but thank you. I enjoy enjoying it. I will enjoy writing with it, and uh, down the road, I will enjoy reviewing it. So I thank you all for watching. Uh, look forward in the coming weeks to some of those other pens I showed you, as well as possibly a few vintage surprises. So I thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye bye.